New at 5 tonight, a Connecticut National Guardsman killed in an awful crash on I-95. Another Guardsman is hurt, too. Their military vehicle destroyed, flipped over on the busy interstate. We got the latest tonight on that still developing story. Glad you're here, everybody. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg in for Ann Craig. The terrible accident happened just before lunchtime on I-95. The military truck collided with a car just before lunchtime. This is video just in. Investigators are there. And here are still photos sent to us by a News 8 viewer. You can see the military vehicle flipped over. The load is spilled. The crash happened in the southbound lanes of I-95, right where the interstate connects with I-284. That's in Port Chester, just over the state line. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live for us at the scene with the latest. Josh? Darren, Ann, we are feet from where that accident had happened, and there are still investigators on scene trying to reconstruct what had taken place. Now, if you had the opportunity to take a look at what happened, it was reminiscent of a war zone. There were bodies, there were crumpled pieces of metal, a very disturbing and scary situation, a situation that's still ongoing right now. Right now, in the last few minutes, they uh, took that vehicle, they put it on the bed of a truck. You can see this takes place on a very busy stretch of I-95, and now people are working to figure out how this all happened. Well, I see police, the fire trucks. It's sad to see. It's really sad to see. It's crazy. A pile of rubble and destruction lines a roadway that borders two states. I go down this highway all the time, so the fact that something like this happened right here is just surprising. Thursday morning, a Connecticut National Guard vehicle was traveling on Interstate 95 southbound next to exit 21 in Port Chester, New York. It was transporting training material to Fort Dix, New Jersey. What happened next, neighbors like Karina Ramirez could hear from their doorstep. I live right here and I heard the, early in the morning, I heard the crash and I was here earlier and it was really devastating. One soldier was killed, another injured in the collision, and a car with Connecticut plates also appears to have been involved. It's a shame. Uh, I mean, I'll, hopefully they figure out what happened. However, this was not just an event that only shook those living in the Empire State. People in Connecticut are also working to come to terms with what happened. Officials with the Connecticut National Guard had this to say at a press conference this afternoon to explain their take on the situation. This was a routine mission. All military vehicle drivers receive 40 hours of classroom training, followed by 40 hours of vehicle-specific driver training. But no matter where you're from, those who witnessed the carnage say you can't help but be moved by images like this. I've seen crashes, but nothing like this. Not, not, nothing that compares to this. I can't believe what happened. After a long, difficult day, you can see right now that the scene is finally beginning to clear after hours and hours of what had been backed up traffic all the way to Darien. They actually took out the truck that had been there on the bed and they have moved it on. As for the identity of the soldier that was killed in this accident, the National Guard hasn't released his name yet at, at this time out of respect, they say, for the family. Darren and Ann. Josh, we understand the governor had just released a statement about this accident, right? That is absolutely correct. Governor Malloy has ordered that all flags be put to half staff in remembrance of the individual that lost their life. All right, Josh Scheinblum, live for us. We will have more live from the scene tonight on News 8 at 6 and the very latest always online at WTNH.com.